Wouldn't it be nice if your Kubernetes platform could help you scale your team? Well, Tanzu application platform can do that. So let's take a look at just a few of the tools that are available on Tanzu application platform. Application accelerators, let's start there. But first I'm going to change over to dark mode because obviously I like dark mode. And uh, here we have the accelerator pane in the Tanzu application platform GUI. Here is where we have a whole bunch of ready-made projects, coding projects that help you get started very quickly when you have a new task to do. So in this particular example, I'm starting a Spring Sensor application. This is an application based on Spring. I can customize it in a few different ways. And then I can even see what the platform is going to generate for me before I uh, download the code and get started with it. So uh, let's take a a look here down uh, the um, source code tree I can see that I've got the sensors UI controller I can see that it's a regular Spring Boot app I've got some configuration for Spring Boot I've even got some of the files that I might want to use to help the platform um, give more context about the application for other developers finding the application on the platform later once it's been deployed so now I can just um, click the generate button download my zip file, take it to somewhere on my file system and then uh, just extract it in the usual way and bring that into my IDE. But that's not the only way that you can use accelerators. You can also use them directly from inside your IDE. So here I am in Visual Studio Code. I click the Tanzu Accelerators um, button on the side there. I can get to exactly the same set of accelerators. So here again, I'm customizing the spring sensors. But this time, it automatically unzips and automatically opens up the project in a new IDE window so I can get started straight away. But all the same files are here. I still have all the files that the platform needs and I still have all the same source code that was generated when we used the web UI. So you can use accelerators inside your IDE or you can use them through the web. Either way, you get exactly the same code. But that's not all. You can also create your own accelerators. So you don't have to stick with Spring or with the ones that are come ready configured. You can make your own. You can make them for any language. And basically, you're just describing how to generate an application in a particular format with particular files ready made uh, for folks to uh, use and also um, ready to customize. You know, you can create the same forms to customize those uh, projects. Let's take a look at API docs and technical documentation as well. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to show you the system view. So back in the Tanzu application platform GUI, if I go to the system view and have a look at a system that's already deployed on the platform, then it will give me a diagram that explains all the dependencies between all those different pieces. So I can see how an application fits together, which is great context. Um, I can also look at the API for a particular microservice, for example. So um, here, if I look at the sensors API, this is the sensor application we were working with a few minutes ago. Here we have uh, all the API definition that goes along with that. So it's got a RESTful API. It's got a couple of schemas associated with that that deal with uh, temperature and pressure. And we can uh, also see all the different um, type ways that we can interact with it, the gets, the puts, the deletes, etc. And we can even try them out. So here I'm trying the uh, get function for sensors, which is returning sensor data, as you would expect. So um, I can even try the API and get used to using the API before I write any code against it. So again, really good context about the application and how it works. Let's also take a look at the technical documentation. So I can write a, basically a mini website that's all about my application and I can share that with all the developers in my organization through the technical documentation site. So here we are looking at the tech doc for the spring sensors. I can see that it acts as a consumer of data, uh, which the application stores in an in-memory database at the moment. So uh, lots of good information there about context. 
Moving on to the Learning Center. Learning Center is brilliant. It's basically a hands-on environment where you can learn about anything. You can write these yourselves. You, can, you don't have to accept the ones that uh, come out of the box. You can create new ones. This particular one is all about how to use the Tanzu application platform. So it helps new folks, for example, understand how to deploy their code onto Kubernetes, onto the platform and share it with a broader audience. So here, for example, um, as I work through the different information in the lab, the lab uh, instructions are on the left hand side here and um, at various points through those instructions, there are also things to try, things to click, things to do. Uh, so for example, there I've just done a kube config and here we're uh, using a generator from the an accelerator sorry from the command line so um, here it's opened all the information from the accelerator into uh, an IDE that's built into the learning platform so someone new here they don't have to set anything up they can just go straight in get started in a very safe space learning all about the Tanzu application platform and how to interact with it and like I said, you can create your own even. This particular lab touches on Live View. Live View is another great way to get context. Um, Live View basically allows you to inspect a running piece of code while it's deployed on the platform, taking a look at things like where is it deployed? What's the endpoint which I can get to it from? How many pods are running this? what structure are those pods included in where are the services where are the deployments all that sort of information but here's live view so live view is where we can now start to inspect in real time what's going on inside the application so here for example i have the health view and i can see all the health here i've got the debug uh, sorry the logging view so i can have a look at how the logs are structured and ch even change those so I'm moving from info to debug and back to info there having a look at the memory you can see the memory footprint for the application as well um, you can have a look at the garbage collection the heap whether you're getting any funny sort of pauses from the garbage collector and I can have a look at how the application is configured what environment variables does it have for example so loads and loads of different ways where you can get context about exactly where you work, all the applications that are deployed where you work, and also how to interact with the platform itself and how to create new projects and get started very quickly. So give it a try. I think you'll like it.